Scorpio, hey, this is Dana with Deep Thoughts with Dana, and here's some deep thoughts for you. I know I did a six-week a six week spread about two weeks ago, but you know what? I just feel like reading today, so I'm going to read. I am sitting in the backyard. It's a beautiful day in Colorado, beautiful day in Colorado, sitting in the backyard. So word, you very well may hear dogs barking. If a squirrel decides to go by, you're going to hear insanity. So I'll pause the camera, wait for the commotion to stop, and then continue right where we left off, okay? You may hear people come in. You may hear neighbors. You may hear a lawnmower start. Just saying, you may hear, okay? All right, this is a general reading for the sign of Scorpio. Of course, a general reading is never a replacement for a personal reading. If you'd like a personal reading from me, if you are a subscriber to my YouTube channel, there's a link in the box below. 50 bucks, we'll hook it up just like this, just for you, just for your situation. If you're not a YouTube subscriber of mine, a channel subscriber, you can go to deepthoughtswithdana.com and schedule a regular old reading. Okay, don't ever, ever, ever make a decision or act upon a general reading. This is a general reading for the energy in the air for the sign of Scorpio based on the planetary positions and all of that good stuff that I just really don't know a lot about. All right, here we go. So you open this reading, Scorpio, with the devil card right there. The devil, and you know what, I meant to get a clarifying card on this devil, but I did not. So, Tarot, please give me a, whoa, tell me about this devil, whoa, tell me about this devil. Okay. Okay, so this devil energy represents you, Scorpio. It represents you having a struggle, a challenge to manifest some type of control in a situation. So that's where the devil energy is coming from, right? It might be even pissing you off a little bit. You're trying to gain control of a situation. What's going on here is that there is, uh, you're juggling something, someone or something you're juggling. And I don't want to say juggling as much as I want to say perhaps you were involved with someone or something that didn't quite hold your attention and you're trying to balance this situation with what it is that you really want, right? The Nine of Pentacles says that you want a culmination to the situation, and that you do get, my friend, because the Five of Pentacles says you are leaving somebody out in the cold. You're leaving somebody out in the cold, and you are moving forward with the Two of Wands into an energy of discovery and exploration, okay? You want to explore the potential with someone else, with the Two of Cups right there. You want to explore the potential with either someone else or something else, okay? If this isn't about love for you, it can be about anything. King of Pentacles comes in. This King of Pentacles right here, this is interesting. So you either want to discover and explore something about someone else who is either a earth energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, or specifically a Taurus because he has horns. He has two bulls on his throne, right? This is the card of Taurus. So you are wanting to explore more either about a Taurus, an earth sign, somebody who embodies the energy of the King of Pentacles or something that will bring you the energy of the King of Pentacles, which is security, control, power, discipline, and abundance in your life. What you want to do, Scorp, is be somebody's Prince of Cups. You want to be the metaphorical knight in shining armor. However, there is something in the past that you have walked away from or they have walked away from you. But you want to bring forth passionate messages. I asked for clarification on the Prince of Cups and the Eight of Cups. 
and I got the Knight of Cups, which is the same card. Different deck, Prince of Cups, Knight of Cups. You want to be somebody's knight in shining armor. Where you walked away once before, you now are absolutely intent on success and victory. Where someone has fallen from good graces before, where there was disrepute before with the Eight of Cups, somebody walked away. Now you are absolutely intent on having success. You want to bring forth passionate messages with the Knight of Wands. I know the camera's a little weird because, like I said, I'm out in the backyard, so I'm going to try my best to make sure you all see these cards. So this bottom row right here, we have the Three of Pentacles. What you want, Scorpio, is teamwork and collaboration to the king of wands this is you scorpio determined to be successful this is you sitting on your cocky little throne right there male or female it doesn't matter but you're full of yourself because you know there's no doubt in your mind scorpio that you can have victory and progress and success with this person right here the King of Wands is clarified by the Chariot. Moving away from the Three of Cups, a third party situation, which is this energy that you're juggling up here. Moving on from betrayal, deceit, and shady behavior. Knowing Four of Swords, contemplating You've given much thought to this, right? You have planned this out to the nth degree, Scorpio, as always. You have your thoughts under control, your emotions under control, and you know exactly what you're going to do with the judgment card. You are going to follow your inner calling and you are going to have a rebirth of this situation. <clears throat> a rebirth of this situation. And why do I say rebirth? Because... There has been discord in the past with this Eight of Cups. Remember, somebody has walked away at some point. So that means that you've had some kind of interaction with this person before, or else how could one of you have walked away, right? So you're going to follow your calling and inner calling. You want a rebirth of this situation, and you are making an absolute judgment to move forward towards teamwork, collaboration, and initial fulfillment when it comes to either a love relationship or a very important choice or relationship in your life. What you want is the world. One life cycle is ending, one life cycle is beginning, and you want to write a new chapter in your life with this King of Pentacles personality right here. Energy, okay? What you want is the fool, a brand new beginning and a brand new journey in a love relationship or a relationship or choice that is super, super important to you. Wheel of Fortune comes in and says, this will be a turning point in your destiny. You are now being freed by the universe to move forward with success and plan your future, a slow, steady, stable future. Very, very nice, Scorpio. Very nice, very nice. Spirit, is there anything else that you want to say for Scorpio right here? Any advice? Anything that you want to say? Anything at all? The Empress, how funny. Well, the Empress, that, that's funny. It's the card of Taurus. Some people say it's the card of Libra. I say it's the card of Taurus. Um, on top right there of that particular energy that you are going after in your life right here. Very interesting. What are these about? Very interesting. You've done some soul searching, some introspection, and sought some inner guidance. You've come through the hermit energy with the Ace of Swords, absolute clear about what makes you happy in your life. And it is not this third party situation. 
Interesting. Anything else, Spirit? Anything else you want to say for the lovely, sensitive, but hard and mean sometimes, Scorpio? Right? Little scorpions running around. All mushy on the inside, but all hard and stingy on the outside. Come on now, Scorps. Y'all ain't fooling anybody. Y'all ain't fooling anybody. We know that you are one of the most sensitive, sweetest signs in the zodiac. Ace of Wands, an inspired, passionate new beginning in your life, Scorp. There you go. From source through me to you, this is your bonus reading for June just because I felt like doing it, okay? If you'd like a personal reading from me, click the link in the box below or go to deepthoughtswithdana.com. Namaste.